So at first, I was going to try to do a civilized video where I just talk about the points and how you can try to reduce as best as you can, you know, like the, the luck factor in most games uh, that you play, like whether it's Digimon, Vanguard, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Cards of Catan, uh, whatever it is that you want to play, because it applies to pretty much everything. But some things happened at Locals last night, and I had a player, well, I didn't have him. I wouldn't argument to start with for anybody, but uh, this player tried to tell me, like, Digimon is more luck-based than Yu-Gi-Oh. I said, okay, I can, you know, I'm not even going to go into the statistics of it, because that's what I am. I'm a numbers person. I I like to go into the numbers, see what the percentages are for this matchup, that matchup. No, that's what I like to do. I didn't want to go into that with him. He didn't seem like the type of player that does that. He seems like the type of player that doesn't study for matchups too well. And he just, you know, just takes it pretty much. So, like, you know, he doesn't perform too well. That's just my point. Uh, he's just like, oh, well, there's no luck involved, Yu-Gi-Oh. I look at this man, I'm like, this is going to be a video. <laughs> so, basically, like, I've been doing research while I was at work on the statistics for luck. And, like, there are some things you can control in games. Uh, like... And then there are some things that you have absolutely no control over. Coin flips, dice rolls, um, you know, things like that. Like, those are things you cannot control whatsoever. Like, the in the intangible variables. Like, you never know what's going to be on that next card. But in some games, you can manipulate things to make it better. Like, there are some cards, some abilities. Make it to where you can, you don't have to do, you don't have to worry about that so much. Uh, there's some where it's like you can you can control it with some skill So like the outcome of a game like if you play around Your opponent well enough you can potentially like beat out their win condition with your worst matchup You could possibly do that uh, Or if you're playing like not even a card game if you're playing like a shooting game Like you could practice your aim in a shooting game because I used to play the division two um and you can try to like try your best to get headshots because i used to play a sniper as well like no matter what you're never going to hit 100 percent headshots all the time like, you might hit like 30 to 40 but you still help your odds out do what you need to do um then there's then there's like fighting games again skill some luck but you got to use skill uh, for that and it's just to me, it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it baffled me why this guy decided to say Yu-Gi-Oh required no luck. I say to him, I'm not, I'm not current with Yu-Gi-Oh at all, but I do have a vast knowledge of it. And there are several people at my local that have a, that are current and do have a vast knowledge. I say, why do you say that Yu-Gi-Oh requires no luck? This man looked me dead in my eye, dead ass, looked me in my eye and said, Hey, I have three cards in my deck that can search out what I need. And I'm like, three individual cards or three sets of three? So like nine cards? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Uh, so three cards or nine cards out of 40. Okay. That's almost a quarter of your deck. That's a good percentage. That's whatever. He's like, no, 50 cards. And I'm like, oh, okay. That took you almost to, to like a, a 25% to drop you down to around like a 15, 16 point something percent. And he's like, he's like, yeah, but like those, if I get any of those cards and I'm like, yeah, if there's no, you know, you pick out those three cards, that's still luck. Then you still have to you know, take into account your opponent's luck to getting cards that could possibly count. And he's like, oh, nobody plays hand traps. Maybe nobody here. What about somebody who's new to the game? And since they're handing out hand traps uh, by the baskets, they could easily have access to them. Like, I know I picked up the the last Spellcaster deck that came out for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, a couple of years ago. Came out with hand traps. Same thing with uh, Flame Veils. Those came with hand traps in it. 
and the set after that had a hand trap monster in it like i don't understand why things like he's like disregarding things like maxi uh called down to the grave things like that i don't understand that like he's just saying oh well you know Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have any luck and i'm like i brought up three solid examples that he could not come up with anything for and i'm like look if you don't play digimon that's fine if it's not your main game that's fine go ahead whatever but when you're like oh this i don't i don't like this game because of the luck when you make a deck for digimon you're saying hey i'm gonna take 55 cards sleeve them up with the intention to try to win don't sit there and say like oh i didn't plan on winning anyway that was the first thing he said to me i was trying to leave early i was just like hey if you beat me one game you can have the match right i said that to him and then i was like and then he was like he was like well i don't really i'm not really trying to win anyway i'm like oh great this is probably some guy playing some jank deck he's gonna beat me with it because it's like a homebrew of something that i've never seen before i pride myself in looking at the meta matchups things like that doing things that i should be doing to reduce the amount of error right and this guy's like he's like so he opens up he's like he's like yeah i don't care about winning you know okay because i'm playing i'm playing imperial jermon blue which i'll be doing a deck profile on later but i'm playing imperial jermon blue mostly rookies right mostly rookies i'm playing 16 rookies in that deck so there's a good chance i'm going to see it there's like a, at least a 30 three percent chance that i'm going to see a rookie in my opening hand and if i don't see a rookie i'm going to see something else that's low costed that i could just play from hand which ended up happening to me i saw no rookies game one game two i saw no rookies so what did i do drop down a lot drop down a champion or busting his ass open dropped imperial jermon he had nothing he was playing some weird purple deck um it had two lilith mons in it he got close he took one memory away from me and when that happened, I I just happened to have left him at one memory. I hit uh, I hit a hammer spark on my security check, and it went straight back to my turn. And then I killed him the next turn. When he says things like "You got lucky," I would have killed you. He had two monsters on the board, or two units, two Digimon on the board. And I forgot what they were. It was a level five and it was a level five it was like a vanilla level five and it was something else that i was not worried about because i already got rid of his lilith mon because he attacked like he did evolved into a digimon that attacked with his lilith lilith mon he didn't protect her he didn't take he didn't do the strategically smart move which was either a leave that other digimon standing then did evolve in the lilith mon or just attack with that other Digimon. Don't Digivolve in the Lilithmon. I wouldn't have attacked it. I just would have kept going at his security. I wouldn't have cared. But it could have been more devastating if he would have just left Lilithmon standing. He would have lasted a little bit longer. He could have used Trump Sword. He could have done a bunch of stuff. But guess what? He didn't. He didn't prepare. He didn't think about his own plays. He didn't think about somebody saying, hey, your unit is a threat on the board. It gives you free memory. I'm going to destroy it. He didn't think about that for some reason. That's not luck. That's just strategizing. That's just plain old, you're being stupid. And I'm sorry if this is coming off like I'm being a little bit negative, but like it really got me heated. Um, and then like the guy just like, he, he just, he, oh yeah, you got lucky. You got lucky. No, I didn't get lucky. You were stupid. You made mistakes and now you're paying for it and you're complaining about it. Like, dude, don't don't do that. If it, you're just using a cop out that most people say, "Oh, I don't even play this game. This isn't my game. My main game is X game because there's no luck in it. This game is too luck based. Every game is luck based. Like, there's no way that you can sit here and say that there's no game that's luck based in the entire world. Like, uh, like drawing drawing cards. That's that's soft RNG luck. And like can't just sit here and say like oh well, well you know i i don't get this because i'm not lucky enough like in doing that that dis like that makes i don't know how about other people but that just makes me feel like discredited like you feel like i shouldn't have won because you made mistakes i made the proper plays because of luck no because we already had like we already have one person at my locals who does it uh i'm not gonna say his real name we're just gonna call him uh 
James. We're going to call him James. James likes to pretend like, oh, well, you only beat me because of luck. Because you, only because you drew them. No, James. You decide to play character decks that don't work. You ask us for help. We give you the help. You say, oh, no, I'm not going to play that card. I don't want to play it. They don't play it in the anime. Why ask for help? Don't do that, James. Don't be a James, everybody. If you're listening to this, if you've gotten through this eight minutes, almost nine, and you and like you're like, hey, yeah, James sounds like an asshole. Yes, James is an asshole. You know why? Mostly because James starts to think, you know, I'm the asshole. And yes, I am an asshole, but I'm not that much of an asshole. Um, I'll still give James help here and there, but don't ask for help. Don't take it and then blame other people because of luck. And then when you win, James, it's pure skill. Don't do that because it discredits your opponent. It disrespects the game. It disrespects just everything that's involved. Like, yes, there is luck involved, but it's not solely based on luck when you're making dumb plays. When you don't want to take the time to research and learn your plays. But long, short, long story short, from this 9 minute 41 second video, don't sit here and just blame everything on luck and say, oh, this game doesn't have as much luck as that one. Don't do that. Because if you do, like, it's people, like, if I see that guy, I'm probably just going to be like, all right, you're going to lose. And then I'm just going to, like, have this negative taste in my mouth whenever I go play against this guy. But anyway, thank you guys for listening to my ramble, my rant, um, kind of my rant light. <laughs> Trust me, this is a lot better than how I was talking to my friends on the phone uh, coming home. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, we'll see you guys next time.